Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for July 22nd through the 28th. This is just a message from my guides for you. So this message will not be like anybody else's. This is just, you know, it's a random message for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's whatever comes out, comes out. Alright, so we're just going to see what comes up. Let's start right here. What do we got for Capricorn, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we have for Capricorn? What do we got for Capricorn? Contract. It did come out reversed. So there could be the end of a contract. There could be. I am going to flip it because I don't intend for these three cards to be reversed. Not in this segment. I just don't. I just don't have that intention. So anyway, but it did come out reversed. So we're going to talk about this. This is probably the end of a contract that has caused a lot of imbalance in your life. It's caused upheaval. It's caused chaos. It may, you may have been treated unfairly. There could have been a lack of justice being served. This could be a divorce, it could be a work contract, any kind of contract, um, karmic contract it could be. This could be a karmic debt being paid off. Either way, this is the end of a contract. We're going to flip it because we already know what the meaning is. It's about contract. Somebody's been wearing a mask, but I think that mask is about to be come off. Okay, it's about to come off. It's this contract. It's a, your life is about to become more balanced out, okay? And I think this is all happening because it's time, right? It's time for for this chaos to end, right? So this is all about some sort of contract. And I believe that it is a karmic contract. And whatever this contract is that has caused so much disharmony in your life, so much upheaval, so, so much chaos... Whatever it is, whatever it is that is coming to an end is going to bring you happiness. It is going to bring you healing. Um, it's going to bring you abundance. This is a time of rebirth. Okay? So happiness is coming. Healing is coming. This is beautiful. It, the sun is starting to shine again. You are starting to shine again. The sun will shine again. Okay? So this is happiness. Happiness. Um, this is also a number one, which is independence. Okay? And maybe some of you are realizing that, you know, the only one that can make you happy is you. Okay? So this is about independent happiness. Happiness from within. Some of you are becoming independent. More independent than ever before. That could be part of the contract. I mean, going your own way. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Capricorn? One card for Capricorn, please. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Now we have somebody that's been thinking very negative. Okay? Very negative. Not thinking positive at all. You need to change your thoughts. Because you think about that one we just saw. Your thoughts become things. They truly, truly, truly do. This is all. Sixes are about reevaluation. Reevaluate your thoughts. Happiness lies within you. Anyway, it does. Stay optimistic about your love life. Get rid of the negative thinking. Think positive. Don't think that everybody is out to get you. Don't think that you'll never find love. You will. As soon as you love yourself. Once you realize that happiness, you're the only one that can make you happy. Once you realize that nobody completes you, you complete you. That's when happiness will come. Let's get one of these for Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect? Or what are they dealing with right now? What's going on with Capricorn? 
Now, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and you should be watching this on my YouTube channel. Okay? Um, the, I, nobody has any authorization to download this as their own. And they will be prosecuted for doing so. Narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Narrow pathway. And I'm going to show you what's on the bottom because I feel the urge. Rainbow blessings. This is this is a blessing. This is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. A wish being fulfilled. You know, Virgo had this as well. So this is about, you know, somewhere over the rainbow bow, a wish is going to be granted. Okay? So keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. But we're going to read this narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Remember I said your thoughts become things. Your thoughts do become things. You got to you have to remember that. Okay? Um, there's an opportunity for happiness here. Because this is extreme happiness. Narrow pathway. Do not make any quick decisions. Think things through. Tread carefully. If you rush into anything, there are potential difficulties. Keep very focused and don't allow yourself to get distracted. Your project will succeed if you go slowly. The relationship will grow, but don't be in a hurry. Let it all emerge on its own time. Be thoughtful in all areas of your life. When the path becomes narrow, success will ensue if you go slowly and carefully. The traveler takes one step at a time, deliberately and cautiously. No detail of the path is overlooked. And that is so you, Capricorn, isn't it? It is so you. Keep your focus on the steps ahead. Do not get ahead of yourself. Breathe, relax. You will be able to achieve what others have not. If you take the time to consider carefully all options and move forward with deliberate care. So this is you. I mean, this is you. This is totally you. Harvest time. Harvest time. It's This is you reaping some sort of reward. Look at the reward. You are going to reap, reap some sort of reward. From one to two, you may f find a partnership from one to two. This this is something, this is a very bright opportunity. This is, I mean, look at the abundance. Look at the, look at the bounty. So you are going to receive, receive some sort of reward. Now, your hard work pays off. Now, when does stuff usually um, come to ripeness? August. So if you work hard now and you don't give up and you keep going, by August you will there's a transformation. That's a butterfly. There's a, there's a huge reward coming by August. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. We're just going to replace that card. So anyway, um, what do we have for Capricorn? Happiness is coming. Positive thinking. This is positive and this is positive. If you continue to be positive and look at the bright side of things, bright sun and bright right here, you look at the bright side instead of the negative side, that's what you will call in. I'm telling you what right now. And your thoughts become things. I'm serious. You keep on the positive side and you keep doing what you're doing and don't let any negativity sweep in. You will be successful. You will be able to do what others don't do because they give up. And you don't, right? You climb to the top of that freaking mountain. As hard as it may be. All the sweat and the tears and the blood. You get to the top and you do so with perseverance. Good news is coming. This is good news. So this could be a message that from somebody or this could be an invitation from somebody that is going to help you or come into your life. This is somebody may burst into your life as if by chance.
This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. This could be anybody. This is somebody who is exciting. This is somebody who is probably a little bit younger than you. This is somebody that is very well suited for you. Very optimistic. This could be you taking on this energy. This is a new adventure. This is a new path. This is exciting, okay? So you could be receiving a message from somebody or help from somebody or an invitation from somebody or whatever this is. This Whatever this is, it's good. This is good news. Oh, my God. Something is absolutely going to burst into your life, and it's going to come in very spontaneously. Very. could come this week. It's a very exciting opportunity. My guess is it's a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. Whatever this is, it's like there's this is this is a burst. It's a burst into your life. It's very very exciting. Two of Wands reverse. You're at this crossroads, and you may be restricting yourself. <clears throat> Two of Wands reversed. Fear of the unknown. Five of Cups grieving. Judgment. Judgment. This is a this is an epiphany. This is a wake up call. This is a truth coming out. A secret is about somebody. You may not even see it coming. You probably don't even see this coming. There could be a chance for reconciliation with somebody. I don't know who, but there could be. Um, this could be somebody from your past. It could be. It doesn't have to be. This doesn't have to be. This this is. Uh, truth being revealed mom now this is sadness this is grieving <laughs> when i get the rest of the cards this is this is clinging to the past six of cups reversed clinging to the memories you could have a child that is involved here this could be a child anyway we need to get the rest of the cards so i can get the message nine of cups justice we have some karma here. We do have some karma here. Okay, we have two karma cards. Karma, karma, and then we saw the contract, and I mentioned it earlier. So there's some sort of karma at play here. There is some sort of karma. Um, memories. A lot of memories on the table here. There's memories with children that are, you know, affecting you. Um... Memories of a past contract, perhaps. You know, you're probably remembering the contract that you had. Um, somebody may have overindulged. Somebody may, you know, have a big ego and they may have overindulged. So there's some unfair treatment here with the Justice card. And the, there is. Somebody has been treated unfairly. Um, but there is definitely some sort of truth that is about to be revealed. Something that has been hidden below the surface is about to be revealed. There could be a loss, okay? There could be a loss with this Five of Cups. Maybe there was a loss, okay? There's a loss. Um, but I see somebody here taking control. I see somebody standing in their power. I, I see somebody, you know, making a judgment call based on integrity, based on loyalty, based on their own wisdom. Um, we could be dealing, we could have a father here who, you know, maybe this father has made some poor decisions in the past and they have regrets and now there's, they're seeing the light in a situation. Um, because the, the truth is about to come out in a situation. There's been some sort of lie. There's been some sort of injustice, the justice reversed. There's been some lies. These lies, this, this unfair treatment or whatever it is, has is, is caused you to be restricted. It's caused you to maybe to restrict yourself from opening up. Maybe you, you, you feel guilty or there's some sort of regrets. Maybe somebody, you know, overindulged in it to, to show off or something and they regret it. Either way, I don't know. Anyhow, I feel like there's an opportunity here or there's a new path that is opening up for you. And you need to take your time with it. You may feel the urge to rush or you may de be dealing with a person that wants you to rush. You are being called. Take it slow. One step at a time. Be wise. Be very, very wise. Um, use your inner strength. 
okay? Make sure that you are thinking clearly. Make sure that you are making the right judge, judgment call. Take your time to look below the surface. Don't only look at the surface. You may be, you may have somebody that is so impulsive that comes into your life that pushes you and you're going to need to, you know, take a step back and use your inner wisdom to judge the situation. Okay. So just keep that in mind. I feel as though, um, there's some sort of grievance over the past or over the children or over the family contract or whatever it is that is that has been hold, restricting you it's been holding you back it's been holding you back from your own happiness and it could have to do with children it could have to do with children it could have to do with parents okay but i feel like this is about to come to an end i feel like there's there's some sort of of resolution here this is the judgment is 10 10 okay that's a completion uh, there's there is there's some sort of completion here and i think it's because somebody takes control they take back their power they regain um control of a situation somehow um now this is a card of release as well so this is releasing this could be somebody that is releasing judgment releasing the past because this does is the judgment is part of the past. This is when you have judgment day, you release the past, you forgive the past. So we have somebody here that may be forgiving their parents or forgiving, you know, somebody may be forgiving you, whatever the case is. This is releasing the past, accepting the truth. It's a, this is seeing the truth, accepting the truth and, you know, letting go of this false contract or the end and maybe it wasn't a false contract whatever it's letting go of this contract in order to have it all because it looks to me as though you are you're receiving some sort of reward for the um end of this contract you're going to receive some sort of reward extreme abundance capricorn so be prepared i mean i'm not going to go any further I'm not going to go any further. I feel like you're about to receive some sort of reward for your perseverance. Um, it's going to make you extremely, extremely happy with this Nine of Cups and this Sun card. Something is about to be revealed that you did not see coming. This is very good news. Somebody may burst into your life that opens up a new path for you that leads you into a very happy situation. That's what I got. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a Pisces. That could be the loss. The loss could be a Pisces. I'm not sure. Could be or a Cancer. Could we have Scorpio here? A Scorpio or a Aries could be jumping into your life. You could be letting go of a Libra. We we have a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. Doesn't matter who we have, but we have happiness that is coming into your life. So. Just keep doing what you're doing. Good luck.